Shalom. Giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rabbi Chai Kodash. Double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, talking this truth through the Spirit. Sing of honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. There must be unbelievers. Therefore, we are believers. And the beautiful thing about it is, you know, faith is is a is wild. It's like really the the epicenter of our ministry of our of our um, belief in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, <clears throat> you can't go, <laughs> you can refute it, but there's no way you can disprove it. Looking at the prophecies and things that's happening right now. And as we as we're inching closer and closer to the kingdom of heaven, evil, deceit, um, envy, all of these things are really starting to be exposed or really start to or it's either being exposed or either being cut down. And and the and the skirt of Easy E's been lifted up. You know, I mean you got your own airmen in front of your embassy. I mean, unaliving themselves, on fire. Like, you people got to really understand. Put it in perspective. Someone that light themselves on fire. You know what it's like to get burned, you know, by an iron or a stove or a hot comb. If you're from the South, you know what I mean, or whatever. So for your own countrymen to do that, who was actually in the military, seeing some things that we ain't seeing, right? And you being the hammer of the whole earth, that's starting to come to not nothing. You know, every time I think about that scripture in Jeremiah, it reminds me of a wooden mallet that they have in the courtroom. Order in the court, doom, 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 right? You know, but right now we're having order in our court. And the court is it's the ministry. We're the judges of the earth. You know? Like, like, like the scripture said, we shall stand so boldly in the face of them of that, that have oppressed us, you know, that made no count for our works. We doing that now. So the laughing, the mockery, the 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 injustices, all those types of things, all those aspects of what we're going through right now, it's a part of prophecy. So yes, we've been humiliated. Yes, we've been downtrodden. Yes, we've been the dregs of the barrel. Yes, we like the gum on the bottom of the of, of the foot. Of, of, of all nations, you know, even our women, you know, don't even respect us. But the beautiful thing about this is that we understand why it happened. You know, we believe that because our power, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, have punished us for being disobedient children, all these curses fell upon us. But because of a promise, because of a, a covenant made with our forefathers, we shall be redeemed. We shall be exalted. We shall be salvaged. That's where salvation comes from. To be salvaged. When you think about like a, a 1967 Shelby GT500 or something like that, you know, Eleanor. <laughs> if you just see it in a, if you see it in somebody's garage collecting dust, somebody who's a car enthusiast, what they'll, they'll try to rejuvenate it. They'll try to salvage it. Same thing with us. We've been broken, downtrodden, put on the back burner. No one come to aid us. All they just had a hand in our captivity. So who's going to save us? Like the Lord said in, in, in Psalms, you know, vain is to help the men. So who can you believe other than um someone who's a, who, who's a member of the body of Yahweh Shai? You know, from the men to the women. That's just, let, let, let's just put it out there. From the men to the women. Who can you trust? Right? So, but having this faith and believing that there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth where and dwell of righteousness, what well, the scripture says, seeing that all these things may be dissolved, meaning it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We believe it's going to happen. Once again, we honor the curses, but everybody else wants the blessings. Everybody want the blessings. Well, remember what they said. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. With great power comes great responsibility. 
right? So you set to a different standard than the rest. We we was called to that. We didn't ask for it, but we was called to that as a as a people. And I'd be God dogged. And I'd be God dogged if I was to sit here and say I'm not blessed. Right now, no, because blessing means blessing means to have someone bow to you. That's what blessing literally means. The nations are not bowing to us, but I mean that I feel like we are blessed because we are the children of Israel. You know, our power is Yahweh, the one that parted the sea, right? The one that made fire and brimstone fall upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, that's our power. That's our power. And as we go out there on the highways and byways and make ourselves up in sacrifices, or as we upload videos to feed the sheep because we figure how about shipping our side. Remember, we can be doing anything in the world like the rest of these people, but we know our lot. We know why we've been chosen. It's since the womb. Because the Lord said it was with the faithful in the womb. Call to a higher order. We believe that. Right? They don't believe it. Let not the incredulity of them that don't believe trouble you. Let them die in their incredulities. In their credulity. But the thing of but the thing about it, the beautiful, the beautiful thing about it. He that laugh last, laugh the hardest. It's supposed to be laughing at us. But they said in Carrie, they're all gonna laugh at you. And what happened? She got her in. She got her revenge in the end, right? Same thing with us. Like the scripture says, humility goes before honor. Yahweh was humiliated before he was honored on that cross. We have been humiliated, then we shall be honored after. Remember when I said we shall stand boldly in the face of them that have oppressed us and made no account of our labor. In that same chapter, if I'm not mistaken, it's that wisdom of Solomon 5. They thought our end to be without honor. That's what they think. They're supposed to think that because it's been prophesied for them to think that. So let them continue to unbelieve, to be unbelievers, because that just sanctifies us. But we do believe. That's the difference. You gotta be on the low, you gotta be the um the low hanging fruit. We are the low hanging fruit, but guess what? We're the root, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. Ooh, stop talking to him. Nah, man, I'm gonna keep preaching. They don't want to hear it, but the Lord gonna make them see it, and they definitely, they damn sure gonna feel it. That's one thing for sure, right? I mean, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. The Lord gonna keep his word, and man. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Yahweh Shimi Awashai. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon the elect men, starting with the elders of Great Millstone, and like minded men that have constantly been going out preaching the word. Please have mercy upon those men that's been uploading videos, that's going through hard struggles. I know great brothers, man, going through it right now. Great brothers, man. Great men, great men. I'm just man, it's, it's like everybody have a story, but it's like when you really know what they're going through and that they figure out about Shema Shah, it's like wow, man, that's beautiful. Have mercy upon those few women, the few sincere sisters out there who waiting for the kingdom of heaven. That's rooting for the men of the Lord. That's looking for that salvation. At the end of the day, man, yeah, we at the bottom, man. We we just downtrodden all over. Men and the women, the children, all that. You gotta remember, man, those 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 women that are Israelites, those still our sisters. They're still our aunties. Still our mamas, you know what I mean? The reason why they going off, cause we went off. The Lord was like, alright, you supposed to be my wife. Remember, remember the nation of Israel, the Lord's wife, calmly and delicate woman. So guess what? Since you want to be disobedient to me, I'm going to have your woman be disobedient to you. Because what's the most highest glory? The man. The Israelite man. Which would be what? The wife, proverbially, understand the language. When you're talking about the marriage. So what's the man's glory? This woman. 
But if she don't glorify us, then what glory do we have? And what's her glory? Her hair. Well, look at the Judah High woman. Billion dollar industry. Go ahead and get that yaki number, whatever. Yeah, y'all, that's what we've been down to. But in the end, I do believe our women are going to be in order. I do believe our women are going to have children from the same man. I do believe all of our children, be, they're going to be ours that we know. I do believe our women are going to get their beautiful, luxurious, faux C hair back, you know, or whatever, all of that. Pigmentation, all of that. We get everything back. Girth, girl, all of that. Diadem, crowns, scepters. We getting all of that. And you know why? Because the Lord said the saints going to take the kingdom. Oh, we ain't sitting at no G20 summit. We want it. We going to get it. And the Lord going to put the spirit on us to be a straight autopilot to get it too. Just some thoughts in my mind, you know. I haven't done a... I haven't done a... And uh, drive, and it's like you got people in your family you care about, like your mothers or your brothers and uncles and all of that. Remember what the Lord said, though. The Lord said, All sin is forgiven except for the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Those in your family that's helping you, the Lord pray He have mercy upon them, man. You know, so that's why I'm kind of making this because I believe it'll be a day, man. That my mother won't have to suffer, won't have to worry about working anymore, don't have to worry about the future for her children. And there's other women out there and, and, and fathers out there that's thinking about it. There's brothers in this ministry that have children. What are you talking about? There's sisters in this ministry they may have children or an unbelieving husband, but love them dearly. When the Lord said the other, uh, I'm just kind of old, the spirit is going. When the Lord said the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the believing husband, and the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the believing wife. That's why it's so beautiful to be one flesh. Man, call her lawyer like you have a shimmy outside by showing us how to dash. Y'all want the wire, man. We have a higher power that's controlling everything on earth. Everything on earth. I would think about this while I'm driving. I had to go do something for my mom. It's like six in the morning down here. As I'm driving, it's early in the morning. So, you know, rush hour between six and nine thirty and all that. There has to be a higher power because there's nowhere in the world you can have hundreds of people on the highway going over 60, 80 miles per hour and nobody like crash all the time. There's a higher power control of all aspects of life here. Gravity, precipitation, humidity, the water's not crossing the boundaries. There is a higher power, I believe that. Now, whether they do or not, that's on them. But y'all, all we have to do is continue to believe and to continue to keep our hands on the plow. And to continue to continue. To continue to continue. <laughs> I like that. To feed the sheep. Alright? So with that being said, I pray y'all air five fed, stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. I'm a Sha'Allah. I'm a Shalom.